This is a big thing that we have to deal with the heat regarding athletes outside. As we know, we're in Florida, we're at one of the hottest times of the year. So our prevention measures are key. Advent Health's head athletic trainer for FPC High School, Ron Steinwehr, emphasizing the need for cooling protocols that recently saved a student's life. It was a hot morning when Stacy Mitchell, senior defensive lineman on the football team at Flagler Palm Coast High School, arrived at practice not feeling well. After we got done running, we all got in our line and we walked back to the locker room and everybody was told to change in their workout clothes for lifting. And I sat down in my locker. I just couldn't move. The health situation was the beginning of a heat stroke. Steinweir dove into action. I was doing some paperwork at the time, and two coaches hastily rushed in saying, Mr. Ron, Mr. Ron, we need your help. Stacy's down. He needs your help. So I rushed and found Stacy slumped over in his locker room. I immediately did an evaluation on him and determined that he was in danger. Triage work on site got underway immediately. When we think of the roles of the athletic trainer, a lot of it is emergency preparation and having the tools available at your side to be able to deal with these lightning quick decisions you need to make. Steinweir adds the importance of prevention also includes athlete awareness. Part of the mandates for them to be able to participate in sport is they have to do three education courses. Advent Health also provides free sports physicals and ECG trainings to students entering 6th to 12th grades to be sure young athletes are ready to play sports in the new school year. Mitchell is making a full recovery and couldn't be more thankful. As long as you're here, you're family. For Flagler's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Tuesday, September 24th. The Palm Coast City Council workshop scheduled for tonight has been canceled due to COVID-19 affecting multiple city council members. The meeting will not proceed because there will not be enough members present to meet the quorum requirement. The agenda items will be discussed at future city council meetings in October. However, the final budget hearing will continue as planned tomorrow at 5.15 p.m. The city of Palm Coast will ensure health and safety measures during the hearing, including physical barriers for council members and increased distancing for the public. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. With the Palm Coast City Council meeting canceled, discussion on candidates for Kathy Hyder's vacant seat is postponed. We hear from two of those candidates today on WNZF. To the citizens of Palm Coast, I come before you today to offer my leadership, my experience, and my passion for public service to the City Council. I have made an impact in so many different cities, so many different states, and in so many people's lives. I would like to play a role in this beautiful city. 46-year-old Charlie Gambaro is a Brigadier General in the Army Reserve, with combat experience in Iraq and Afghanistan, serving in various roles in both the Pentagon and White House. While serving in the Army, both on active duty and in reserve status, I've had the privilege to serve the citizens of Flagler County as the chairman of the Flagler County Soil and Water Conservation District, and as a member of the Flagler County School Board. My record as an elected and appointed official is one of fiscal conservatism, where I consistently voted to lower the millage rate, setting effective policies for the organization, contractors, developers, and holding staff accountable. And that was really important because during that time period, we were building schools and adding on to schools. 60-year-old Leslie Giscom has lived in Palm Coast for 33 years and in 2018 founded the African-American Entrepreneur Association of Daytona Beach. As an entrepreneur, I look at problems and, you know, just witnessing some of the council meetings that I've attended, I've observed the bottleneck. And to me, that bottleneck is a lot of disgruntled constituents. As far as I'm concerned, there must be a way that we can create a messaging that would be more, I would say, engaging and transparent for the public moving forward. As a city council member in Palm Coast, I'll focus on balancing growth and maintaining city quality of life, issues around infrastructure, public safety, affordable housing, environmental preservation, economic development, and inclusivity are all central to the city's future success. Tomorrow, we'll hear from two more candidates. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Daryl Moody. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.